Greetings everybody, welcome back to Stestix Fix. In this video today, I'm going to take this Nintendo Switch Lite, I'm going to turn it from this, into this. Okay, so before I can turn this delightful turquoise Nintendo Switch Lite into this atomic purple one, which is pretty awesome, I do need to obviously take it apart. Now these are the parts that came with the kit. This is the replacement shell for Switch Lite, and it's made by Mirian Trading. And this was from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Now they do different versions of this, but this is the atomic purple version, which is personally my favourite. And it looks pretty cool. You know, the, the quality is, uh, is not bad at all. And you do get... Replacement buttons for it as well. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use these because I think they're the Super Famicom type buttons. So I might use them. And you also get a screen protector which will cover your unsightly original one. I think if you're doing this with the grey, the dark grey switch light, you would probably just leave that on because it would look it would look pretty cool. But you know, I think that's uh it's quite a good addition. So first things first, let's take our switch light apart. Now to do that, we're going to need we're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver. This is the Y2, I believe it is, and a J00, or just any sort of crosshead screwdriver. Now these are the tri-wing screws. Get to take out any SD cards and game cards. the main board out.
secondary board out. Right, now for the fun bit. Whee. So in order to get the screen out of the front casing, we are going to have to heat it up because it is glued in. Now I have access to a hot air gun, which is good because I can regulate the temperature. You can do this with a hairdryer, but you just don't know what temperature it is. I'm going to try about 140 degrees, I think. I'm not going to go crazy because I obviously don't want to damage the screen, but I also do still need to heat up the glue. Here we go. That was probably 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, 140 degrees and that's that's worked to treat all right so now i have 300 different pieces of nintendo switch Lite. it's time to put it all back together yay i'm going to start by putting the screen back in like so the glue that was already on the screen will hold it in place but i am just going to gently heat it up just to just to re sort of flow the, the glue and hopefully it will keep it in better. There we go, lovely. One thing I will say at this point, don't be tempted to over tighten the screws because I've seen these with stress fractures on and they don't look pretty. You literally just need to do them until you feel a tiny bit of resistance and then stop as long as it's in it should be fine. Okay, so I am going to put the, the coloured buttons in because I want to see what they look like. If I don't like it, I can always switch them back out again. I mean, at the minute it looks hideous because of this turquoise screen, but I actually think they'll look... Yeah, I, I like them. They look pretty cool. At this point, I'm tempted to put the black thumbsticks in. These are from a regular Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, and they, they're exactly the same, so they would work. No, I'm going to stick with the with the light grey one, so that everything sort of matches, apart from those new funky coloured buttons. Everything now goes back into the shell. Right, I'm just going to clean off this old thermal paste. I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol to clean it off and I'm just going to use this Arctic Silver 5 paste if there's enough left that is just make sure you apply the perfect amount there we go and I'm also going to put some on here because this is what the heat pipe makes contact with the metal shield here Now this metal shield is visible through the through the clear plastic, so I am just going to clean it. Again, just using some isopropyl alcohol. And the kit does come with some black power and volume buttons, and also the game cart and SD card slots. I'm going to pop those in. Right, let's see if we can get this screen protector on without uh, <laughs> without messing it up. <laughs> Highly satisfying. All right, and there we go. There it is. 
I think it looks really, really smart. I actually like the coloured buttons. I didn't think I would. I think it looks it looks really, really good. Uh, the only thing I would change if I did it again is I would probably look for black buttons uh, and put the black thumbsticks in because I think that would make it make it look a lot a lot neater. So yeah, really, really happy with that. Please let me know down in the comments what you think, uh, whether you, you're tempted to, to try this yourself. Uh, if you've got any questions, by all means, yeah, leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.